Welcome to a React mock interview that I am giving. I am the interviewer and my interviewee is Clement. Clement, do you want to say hi? How are you feeling? Hi, Ben. Hi, everybody who's watching. Uh, I'm feeling decent, a little bit nervous because uh, I'm a washed up front end developer, as I said in the previous uh, front end interview that we did. But let's see how it goes. So yeah, I picked the question today that is intermediate level. So you've done a little bit of React under your belt and you're ready to do like a little bit more complex of front end things. That's what we're gonna test your knowledge on today. And uh -oh. we're just, I think we should just jump straight into things here. Um, pretty much every application you'll ever build is gonna need to interact with some kind of server API. So the first thing that I want us to do is just for you just to fetch data from this API, this URL here, do a git request. And why don't you just like display the data on the screen? Just dump it or something. And okay. you can fetch it in however format way you want to. Okay. So here I'm going to use Axios again. I know that last time I got some flack in the comments for <laughs> going with something as complicated as Axios, but I'm just going to go with it uh, instead of fetch. So in import Axios from Axios, if I remember correctly. And then we will do, um, let's say, const uh, fetch data, const fetch data equals return axios.get. And we are gonna take this API uh, here, axios.get uh, dot then. So we're, we're gonna have our, our response. So res, uh, maybe let's do console or just return res or console.log res, I guess. Console.log res. Uh, maybe we'll add a dot catch for good measure. Error. I always do console dot error. The errors. And then here you said you want me to display it. Uh, so maybe we don't uh, console dot log. Maybe we just return it. Uh, this seems awfully similar to, to last time, but we'll, we'll see where this goes. So no, I'll, this is kind of our base. This is a good starting point, and then we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna differ quite a bit after. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. You always need some data, so we'll use a use effect. Um, we will do something like uh, use effect, um, and this will be the thing that we that we do on the on page load. And here I might get that squiggly line that we had gotten last time, but whatever for now. Um, and so this is going to be uh, fetch data. Uh, if we call fetch data, so maybe let me just see if I actually get this in the console. So here, if I go in the console, um, unexpected token on line 18, uh, 13. Uh, I don't, I don't see an unexpected token per se. I think it may be. So I think there's a problem also with your, your string here. It's just missing an H in the, oh, right. just copy um, paste there. Oh, there, there it is. Now I see the console log. Okay, cool. So data dot results. And then it's the, oh, it's the same thing as last time that object of people. So I guess we will, uh, you, you want me to maybe like display that as a string or how are we going to use the you, data? I think you, I think you kind of got that. I, I think you fetched it. We have the data. I just want to make sure that we got it. Okay. And okay. the console.log is good enough for that. Okay. So what I'd like to do is create a table that just displays these users. Now okay. it's kind of a nasty object that we got here. So we're going to like narrow it down a little bit to make it a little bit easier. And we're just going to focus on the location object. So what I'd like you to do is create a table um, that basically has all the data inside of location. And I'd like you to flatten it. So if you click on location, you notice how there's street and inside of street, it has the number. Inside of street, there's the name, right? Yeah. And then coordinates says latitude, longitude. I want a flat table. So my table has, says street number, street name, city, state, country. And that's what I want my table to look like. Does that make sense? Yeah, but so a table has columns and, and rows, right? Do you want every row to be map? Basically, every person right. maps to a row and each column is like street name, street number, et cetera? Exactly. Okay. Okay, so we are upping the ante a little bit. So and then if, if we want to do like baby steps here, that's that's kind of the long-term vision. If we do baby steps here, the first step I'd like you to do is just like, why don't you create an array that is flat? It just has the location data. Okay, okay. I'm gonna play around with the data a tiny bit just to kind of you know 
get sure. get into the uh, swing of things and we'll we'll see where it takes us. But so res here, it's res.data.results, first of all. So res.data.results. Um, and here I get this array of objects. Okay, so that's number one. So if we want to be able to render this table, I think we should store um, the this this array of people in state, kind of like we did last time, I think. So mm -hmm. I'll add a use state, use state, um, and I'll do something like const uh, people set people equals use state, and it's going to start out as an empty array. And here we will do um, fetch data and dot then. So this will return instead of, you know, it'll both log and return res.data.results. Maybe we can do const results equals res.data and we'll console log results. Oh, nice, I have sublime key bindings. Um, so we have the results here, console.log.then. Uh, so here we have uh, API people, right? And we can do set people to API people. And um, at this point, maybe let's just see if we can render, let's see if I can just render, like if this is working, I'll just render the um, the name of everybody, okay? Just that sounds really good. Quickly. So we'll do something like people, right? Dot map. Um, so we'll take a person and person IDX, and this will uh, return, um, I suppose, a, a div. So we'll do a div. We'll add on this div a key of the person IDX to not get that warning. Um, and then here we would, uh, we would map person, where did I say it was? Person dot name dot first. Let's do person dot name dot first. So if I do this, we do get the people. You see them? Yep. Okay. Why is name squiggly? Probably, oh, because I, I should type these things. Um, let's, can we not worry about typings for now? Yeah, yeah, if you want to just. Any, sure. Okay. So, um, and this would probably be a person. If you want, just for the, for, for the sake of good order, why don't we do something like type person equals any, and here I'll put person just so that we kind of know what we're dealing with. Um, sure. Okay, so now we want a table. So maybe just to, to see, to, to control the data a bit better. So we have location. Uh, you want everything that, it's, that is in street, or do you also want things like city, state? So I want everything that's in the location object. I want that to basically be flattened into a single row. Okay, gotcha. And the the inner objects in location, like coordinates, time zone, you want those also flattened? Yep. So that so like I want you to take that object, flatten it to like a regular list, and then that is what I want to be a single row in my table. And so I want to see all a bunch of like basically location rows in the table. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um so let me think about this. Maybe what I could do is I could do like, um, I could pre-flatten the locations and store them, store the locations as well, like flattened locations in state, just because it might be a bit easier. Um, yep, I could also, I that. okay, so I'll, I'll go with that. Because otherwise, like, I'll probably, I'm going to use some sort of function like flatten locations or something that I could call here and do like flatten locations, passing in people and map it, but let's just store it in state. So we are going to, um, uh, whoops. Okay, we are going to copy paste this and we're gonna call this flattened locations. Flattened locations, set flattened uh, locations. I suppose it'll be an array here. We'll do set people and then we'll do set flattened locations and we'll do flatten locations of, I suppose we can pass in API people or perhaps what we will do is we will pass in API people, API people dot map um, location and pass in location. Do I have the correct, uh, let me see if, if I save. So dot map, we are deconstructing locations. 
Okay, so I need to, I need to actually uh, make this a function. So we'll do const flatten locations is a function that takes in locations. Uh, for now, I suppose we'll do the same thing as up here. We'll do location any, but we should probably type this out after. So we'll do location array, and this will um, flatten out our locations. So first of all, maybe let me console.log locations to make sure that I have them, and I will remove uh, this console.log up here. So now, um, we are getting an array of objects. Okay, so we have our locations. I, I don't know if you're seeing my console, but I'm seeing my console and I have my yep. locations up here. They're looking good. Okay, so we have our, our locations. And so here we will say, um, we, th th this is an array of objects and we wanna flatten it. So we can say, let's say const flattened locations equals another array. And here, by the way, like I suppose I could maybe use some sort of low dash function or you know pre-built library. Um, I don't know them off the top of my head and I'd rather just very quickly uh, rebuild my own flatten, which would be fairly straightforward. But so I'll say for const location of locations, uh, we are gonna say, um, um, let, me, let so. me think. We have, a, we, we have an array of locations. We want to get all the keys here, right? We, we, we first want to get all the keys, and then right, we so want you have, a, you have a single location here, yep. and we want a single location. The only difference is right now location has, like, nested things in it. Yep. So, like, it's street and it's name, whereas I would really prefer if it just said name or if it said street name. Like, that's, I, want it, I, want it full, I don't want this, you know, yeah, yeah. extra level. Yeah. So I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, I'm going to, um, what I'm going to do first is I'm effectively going to get like, I'm going to get all the headers, all the, the headers of the columns, right? Which would be exactly what you just said here, like street name, et cetera. Mm -hmm. And then we will get like the actual values to display in those headers. Okay. And this is, there's only a couple values. You don't need to think about doing something like super dynamic here. You can like literally manually do this if you wanted to, because there's okay. only three nested things. Yeah, but is this, so I'll do flattened location headers equals this. For const location of locations, we'll say flattened location headers. Um, we, we will say uh, if if um, so. Actually, yeah, so I see, I see. so we, we actually only need one location here. So we're, we're gonna say, we're gonna say uh, const first location equals location at zero or locations at zero. And I can just call this location. And I'll say location is an object, right? So I'll do, I'll do what I'll do is I'll do object.keys location, right? Dot um, for each, I suppose, for each. So uh, location key, right? Location key, and we'll we'll say if if location key, if the um, wait, I'm trying to look at oh, there's an error. Undo this. Okay, so our object it says so we can say value we can say const value equals um, location at location key. And we can say if value, if type of value equals not object, right? Object, then we can do flatten location headers dot push um, dot push uh, location key. And here I'll handle the objects in a second, but now if I do console.log flatten location headers, I should get, yeah, I get city, state, country, postcode, okay? So mm -hmm. now if I want to get those other things, um, I do think that the, like, the best way would be to do this sort of um, dynamically, right? Or, or like, because I think hard coding, <laughs> I, I, I think mean, it's... I, yeah, you're welcome to do it either way, whichever one is on, you know, you're feeling. 
yeah, I, I think it's I think it's um it's it's better to do it uh, dynamically. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna move this into another function, which will be like extract object keys. Okay, so extract object keys will take an arbitrary object. I'll put any for now, and it'll do. This is what it'll do. It'll say. It'll say um, const object keys equals an array. Okay. Object keys, object dot keys of objects, so not location, for each object key, object key, object key. Instead of location, it'll be object. And we will do object keys dot push here, right? This will be return object keys, return object keys. Um, why is this underlined? It doesn't matter for now. Oh, I suppose this will be a string, uh, string <laughs> array. Implicitly has type any, okay. Okay, so return object keys. And so here, object.keys, if type of value equals object, flattened, um, we will do, we will do, uh, um, so is this just you getting an array of keys that an array are of, be objects? An array of, an array of, of strings, yeah. And so yeah. He, here we'll do, this is a little bit gross complexity wise, but I don't think we really care about this. <laughs> Time complexity wise, flattened location headers equals blah, blah, blah. Uh, wait, if, if type of value equals not object, then, um, Wait, let me, let me just think of how I want to do this dynamically. So extract object keys gives me, I have an okay, object. Let's, what, what if you were going to do it manually? How would you do it manually? Manually, I would just say like, if it's an object, we add the, the keys. But wait, wait, I think I, I'm, I'm almost, I'm okay, almost. Okay, okay, if you want to finish that dynamic, please, please. Yeah, I, I, I almost have this. Uh, give, give me just a second. Object keys, um, boom. Let object keys, we, we push this, otherwise else, here else, we say object keys equals object keys and extract object keys, extract object keys of um, value, okay? So like this, and so here if I do extract object keys, if I, if I just do quite literally const flatten locations equals extract object keys passing in our first location, then I believe that this should um, just work here. Yep, I have them all. So now I have number, name, city, but now the only thing is like number, you'd rather, you want me to have like street number, right? Because otherwise number doesn't make sense or do you care about that? Don't care, yeah. For now you, you don't, don't care? Need to get to, yeah, okay. don't, doesn't matter. Whichever, just go with the easiest one. So just the recap, what you did right there. It looks like you were recurs like recursively going through the object and getting every key in the entire thing and putting that into a list. Does that yes, sound right? That's exactly okay. yeah, that's what I'm doing. And this would be basically column headers. These would be the column he headers. Now, of course, so so here if you want, you do, do you want me to maybe like run render just the column headers so that we see them on the page? Sure. Okay. The, the tricky part now is going to be like figuring out how to actually get the values from this. I'm going to have to refactor a lot of stuff. But um, here, you know, if I do flatten locations, um, we said fl uh, flatten locations. So I'm going to do uh, set flatten locations. Oh, I think this is just it, right? So here now, if I do uh, flatten locations dot map. And here I have, uh, I have what, a string? So I have um, flatten, maybe this is not the correct word, flatten locations. I, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll call it just location string. This is gonna be a string and we'll say location IDX. We'll put location IDX here. If I render this location string, we should see them all um, dot map of undefined flattened locations, um, set, did I not return? I didn't return them here. Yeah. So return flattened location headers. Okay, so we see them now. So now let's just put them in a table just so that we actually see this as a table. Um, so tables, I hate tables in 
in HTML, it's what? Yeah, I, I can give you the tags if. I think I have them. Table, okay. then it's T head, T head, uh, T head, and then this is where we map to, to rows, I believe. Um, and we, we only have one row for T head, so T row, but this is where we map, right? TH, I think. So I think um, I'll copy paste this, and instead of a div here, we'll put TH. Yeah, I think this is TH. Oh, I see, you're making that a row. Yeah, I actually don't remember technicality-wise. We'll see if it looks good. Yeah, I, this yep. this has it. Perfect. So now I have them all in um, in these in the in the headers. Yep, that looks awesome. Yeah, the, the question is now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Let me let me remove maybe uh, this thing here. Um, now I'm assuming you want this in a in a table for all the people, right? Yes. And I don't, I don't want to get too much into the like extracting values thing because right. it's not too reacty. So just just real quick, if we want to just get like pull out the locations. So why don't we like? Are you up here on line thirty three? Yep. So let's just call this the headers okay. or the headers. Yep. And then this is going to be your data, and your data is going to be for cons location to since I guess we're using location there ignore my bad variable names real quick yep but this is just our data and we can just say data dot push and then location to and then we can like just grab each of the values so if I grab one of the objects here I can say number is location to dot street dot number, right? So something like that. Yeah. Um, and now, so like it's a, there's a little bit to it. Like I have to destructure the data because we're gonna have some objects in there still. So like it's street coordinates time zone. Okay. Street coordinates time zone. Have you seen this syntax before? Yep. Where you do dot, dot, dot. Okay, yeah, so I'm just getting the rest of the keys. And you could, so something like this is just to real oh, quickly see. get the to data. Sort of like your hand picking coordinates and time zone, I see. Okay, so just to make sure that down there it's working, we'll do flatten locations dot and headers then, dot Yeah. And so here we should have, um, we said you're pushing an array of, Oh, it's an object. So this should be an object that says headers, empty array, and data, empty array. Okay, so now it's actually rendering still. Okay, and so here you are you are pushing the data, um, and you are doing for every location you're getting the street coordinates, time zone. And you're doing data dot push, and you're pushing an object that has all the rest. And so here you're handpicking street street number so then okay so then maybe let's do okay so then name it's gonna be uh street dot name then it's gonna be coordinates um coordinates latitude longitude and we don't have to worry too much we can just grab those two and call it a thing and what we can do is yeah. for your flattened headers here i'm just gonna put these at the bottom instead of location we can just say data zero so now it just has those headers Okay. So oh, this wait, is wait. kind of the manual way, if you will. Like usually when you're fetching data from an API, you know the keys that you're dealing with and you can, you can do yeah. it manually, but you can also dynamically flatten this and create this beast if we wanted to. But okay, right. so let's call that let's call that good. We got our data and let's, is that giving us the right keys back? It is. So why don't you go ahead and next step, take the data that you now have and, and render it in put it in, yep. Okay, so we'll do, um, down here under the T head, we need a T body. T body. Um, and T body, so here we wanna, we wanna map, uh, so I saved, we wanna map rows, because there are multiple rows here. So this is where you do flatten location dot data dot map. And um, I suppose you, like, this would be data, data object. Um, we'll just sure. Maybe location. 
Is it, oh, is it a location? Okay, yeah. I suppose, yeah, it's the data of a location. So we can still do location IDX here. And so here, instead of TH, it'll be TR, TR. But so now let me think. So we have the data. You, you, you want rows for the data, but then, then you also have to map inside of it for the T, uh, for the actual like cells, right? Okay, so here, instead of location string, right, this will be, um, this will be now, uh, we wanna extract all the values from this data object, right? Right. So now the only thing is because, you're, because you made it an object, I don't know if the order will be correct, but let's just see. So we'll do object.keys of location, or I guess I can do object.values of location, right? To just directly get the values, dot map. And so I suppose we'll say just like location value. Um, and we'll say the value IDX, not liking these variable names, but whatever. Value IDX. And so here the tag is what? It's TD. It is TD, right? Yep. TD. And so here, let's do location value. And we have to do value IDX. So key equals value IDX. So let's see, where do we have something that's wrong? Um, so we're doing flatten locations, data.map. We're closing this tag here. We're closing this friends here. Uh, this is the friends. So here we want to return. Return. Okay, return TR key. Um, so you actually only need to do returns if you do curly braces. So you, you actually, you're good without return there. Oh, I, oh yeah, because it's parentheses. Yep. So then here inside of this, let me just enter so that I can see more yeah. clearly. Um, TR, you remove the TR here. Okay, so here we're doing object.values. You grab the, the values of the location because this should be an object. You map it. Um, you map it, you grab location, you return, let's do prints, TD, key equals blah, blah, boom, TD. So what I like to do in this like circumstance, just like when you're trying to find where the missing semicolon or parenthesis is, is we can just comment out that bit and we can see if that was the problem. Okay, so like Which it was, we yeah. know, yep, yeah, we know it's somewhere inside of that. Yep. Um, location value, return, TD. And looks like we're just missing an extra print. Let me add that in there for you. Okay. There you go. Okay, so there we have it. Um, it's annoying that it keeps squiggling everything because of the lacking types. But okay, so now we have them all. Are mm -hmm. they actually correct though? I, I think you might have Luxacked into the right order. But but I didn't. Um, but that is just like uh, happenstance. <laughs> yeah. So if if you wanted to do it in a way where you 100% have the right order every time, how would you go about doing that? So I would have either had to do like my way, but which would have been the, the much longer way of like the extract object keys should have also extracted the data and like done it kind of you know basically. Okay. Order so you would data. have you would have put it in in above correctly is what you're saying. Yeah, in an array above correctly, or then, or here, what we could have done is we could have, instead of, basically, instead of having this headers thing, we could have not mm -hmm. had this headers at all. And here, instead of doing flatten locations dot headers, if you want, I could do, we could just try right now, object dot keys of location one, right? Uh, that's what I was going to say. What if instead of doing object dot values and mapping like this, what if you mapped over the headers here? Yeah. Or, or that, yeah. So I guess I, I can do that. Um, so object flat, flattened uh, dot headers. So we, we would grab for, we, we, we are iterating through all the locations. We iterate through the, the headers and we do um, location. So let me grab this, delete this dot map here we have a header right and here we have a let's say header idx we'll do header and this would be location add header yeah perfect and we get the same thing but alternative alternatively what we could have done also is here in the headers mapped 
based on the order. Because JavaScript does give, I, I think if you do like object.keys, you get a deterministic order for the yep, for I see given saying, object. Yeah. But yeah, okay. That, that looks good. So the next thing that I'd like to do, we got a lovely table here, is I would really like to be able to click on city or click on state and it orders it for me. And like I can click on it and it changes the order from like ascending to descending. Okay. Okay. And as far as like how it's sorted, don't worry too much about that. Like call dot sort and like, you know, you don't have to get too, too worried about that part. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is where you get, it's going to get really tricky because let's start with let's start with the city okay for for the sure, sake of sure. argument um basically like on our on our header here we would have something where um actually we, we don't even need to start with city it'll be simpler if we start with all of them but we would have something along the lines of an on click here um, right on click which would be a function that says something like um you know let's call it sort, sort column, sort column. And it would pass in the location string probably. Okay. So that would be the on click. And if we do sort column here, maybe we, we write it out up here, uh, const sort column, it takes in a location string. And if we do console.log location string, we should see it. So here, maybe let me remove uh, the console.logs up here uh, and this, so that we don't have any others. So now if I click city, um, I'm getting, oh, I'm getting a synthetic event on click. Um, wait, why did I pass in location string? That's not what I wanted to pass. Location string like this. So now if I do on click, yeah, we get the, we get city, click, we get state, country, etc. So we have the, the thing by which we want to sort. Now, we have to mutate the data, right? So to mutate the data, we have to update our flattened locations, right? Um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, right now I'm just gonna go with the quickest way to do this, which, would, which is gonna be to update the flattened locations. I have a feeling that if we, if we were gonna do this especially for all the columns and all that, we might wanna have another structure that holds like, that, that holds like maybe different sorted versions. That way we don't need to resort things all the time. But for now, yeah, all that don't I'm worry about optimizations right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, for, so for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say const new flattened um, locations, okay? So flattened locations is an object. Um, so perhaps we can do, uh, Const new flattened locations equals flattened locations. And here we can do um, data equals um, f uh, this flattened locations dot data. So we are, we are basically getting a complete, a brand new copy of like an object and of the data. Um, and we can say const, or sorry, we can say new flattened locations dot data. So the data is what? It's these objects, right? Um, so dot data dot sort. And, and I'll, I'll give you the compare function, like how it works, because you, sh you don't need to memorize this. Yeah, it's like less than one, greater than one equals one. Yeah, so this is the compare function that you'll be using for that. Yeah, okay. So wait, where, where's my sorting? Oh, okay. And this is straight from MDN. Yeah, yeah. So basically like it, the sorting will be a toggle, right? So you press city, it sorts it, let's say alphabetically, and then you repress it and it sorts it unalphabetically, right? right. Or, the, or the, the opposite order. So, um, okay, sort A. So we will say- um, But uh, why, why don't for now you just like, you press it, it sorts it one way. Let's start there. Yeah. Okay, just one, just one way. Okay. Yeah. So spamming it will do nothing. Um, so here, these sorting, we're sorting, we're, we're sorting two objects. So we have our, our location string. Maybe we can call this like sort key. I feel like that'll be more appropriate, sort key. And so here we will say um, const um, relevant a value equals or relevant value 
a equals a dot uh, sort key, const relevant value b equals b sort key, right? And now we want to sort them. So you, if you're sorting strings, you just you do. Can you just like do operations on strings, or do you have to? Convert oh, I, them? I see what you're saying. Yeah, go ahead and just use that operator. I'm operator. pretty sure that should be fine. To be honest with you, I don't know off the top of my head, but let's pretend that one's fine. I think under the hood, JavaScript com uh, compares it. So I suppose we can just say, yeah, if relevant value a less than relevant value b, we'll return negative one. Um, if relevant value a greater than relevant value b, return one, and then return zero. Okay, so we've, we've sorted the data, and then here we do um, set flattened locations to new flattened locations. And so I believe that, um, why is this squiggly? Okay, TypeScript. Uh, unexpected token on line 92. Um, wait, let's just see if this, okay, it, it doesn't work. So let me just see, uh, let me remove this. It second. actually looks all right to me. I think, I think, but I, maybe... I have a, yeah, go ahead. My, my map is incorrect. Um, Cause here it's, it should be flattened locations. I was destructuring a function there. Okay. Yeah, there it works. Now, if That'd I wanted beautiful. to, if I wanted to do, yeah, cause you saw here, I, I had just mistyped flat the, the, I was right, destructuring right, right. the function. Okay. So if I wanted to do the toggling, um, do you want me to explain to you how I do that? Or, or do you want us to do something else? No. Yeah. I want to, I want to make it now where like I can press it again. It does it inverse sort. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, let me, let me think. Off the top of my head, if we wanted to do this, and let me see, does this work for all of them? Yeah, it works for state, for country, postcode. Okay, beautiful. So off the top of my head, what we're going to do is we need to keep track of state for the order that things are sorted in each column, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something like const um, sorting, st sorting directions, set sorting directions equals use state. And this is gonna be an object. This is gonna be an object that maps our headers to a sorting direction, okay? So the headers, um, the, to, to, to uh, pre-fill this data, we need to do it here where we set the flattened locations for the first time. So maybe here, what I'm gonna say is const, I'm on line 90 right now, const r flattened locations equals this, boom. I'm gonna say this goes here. And then we can say um, const, so we, we wanna get the, the headers, it was what? It was an array, our headers, right? Um, right. So we can say um, const our sorting directions equals this. And again, I would have to clean this up. Now I'm just kind of going pretty fast. So for- so he, he, here's your headers. Yeah, for const header of headers. Thank you for writing the headers for me. Uh, we'll say our sorting directions uh, dot header equals something. Our sorting directions, yep. And then here we're gonna do set our, uh, set sorting directions, our sorting directions, right? Okay, so this value that I put here is zero. I have to figure out how to basically like store the um, store the the sorting direction. So what I would likely do, what I would likely do is I would have I'm going to have a an interface at the or an enum at the top. Okay, so I'm going on line ten. I'm going to do enum um, enum sorting direction mm -hmm. equals, um, and I forget, I forget if, if enums, I think you, it's better to singularize, right? Um, so we'll have descending equals descending. Uh, I always forget, this is one thing that I always forget in um, TypeScript. It's like when you're, when you're doing enums, like 
do you not put an equal? I guess not. Do you put? Yeah, no, no equal. No equal. The rest is good, I believe, though. Okay. So descending, ascending. Let's just put this in alphabetical order for the sake of good order. Um, sorting direction. And so we will start with ascending. Okay. So here, instead of zero, where was I on line uh, 102? Instead of zero, we'll put sorting direction dot ascending. Okay. What if I want like a default, like the way the data came in? Ooh, the way that, okay, so then I suppose we'll, we'll do just default. So uh, we'll have sorting direction. I, I guess I'll, I'll put, I'll call it unsorted, okay? Like unsorted. Sure. That, those are the three, the three states. So this, this makes more sense because it's not ascending at the beginning. Um, right, right. Okay, so we'll do unsorted. Okay, so now when we are sorting, we will do the following thing. We will say, um, let me make sure that I'm not getting errors. If I click city, I'm still getting, okay. So I'm still good. Um, are, you, are you getting some sort of un, unexpected token? Unexpected. Um, yeah, I did see that. Okay, so that's on line 10. I don't, I don't think it's actually bad. I think it's fine. I mean, the code still works. And... Yeah, it still works. So let's just leave it for now. Um, so on line... Uh... Also, here's the other thing as far as like your... It looked like you're trying to hold multiple sort keys at once. There's like when I sort by city, I don't need to also be sorted by state as well, if that makes sense. I only need to be sorting by one column at a time. Yeah, I'm just keeping... Need to get... I'm okay, just right. keeping track of... I didn't want you to get like too complicated where like we sort by city and then we break ties with state or something like that. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. That'll just be to keep track of the different toggles of each one. That way if I like if I sort by state, then sort by city, and then resort by state, I'll be like... I see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You want to keep the toggle state on. Got it. Got it. Yep. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So... Fancy, fancy. Well, yeah. We have the sort key. So here now we'll, we'll say this. We'll say const current sorting direction equals sorting directions uh, of sort key, right? So for example, at the beginning, this would give us um, ascend, uh, unsorted, right? Mm -hmm. So now when we sort, this is, what's, this is what's interesting. This I'm gonna move in a new, in a new, um, in a new function. So I'm gonna do sort data. I'm gonna take in this data. I'm gonna pass in sort key, which is the relevant thing that we need. And I'm going to pass in current sorting direction. Okay. In this function, sort data. So let's put it uh, up here. Const sort data equals, it takes in data. We'll just do any. It takes in a sort key, which is a string. And it takes in a sorting direction, a mm -hmm. small s, which is the enum. So sorting direction, right? This, what it's going to do is this, okay? This, except this is going to be just data, data. And here, uh, this is where things get pretty. We mm -hmm. will say, we will say, okay, well, let's code this out like as uh, undry as possible, and maybe we can clean this up. So we can say, if sorting direction equals sorting direction dot unsorted or descending. Well, let's not worry about unsorted for this one for now. Let's just do descending and ascending. Okay, but it, it'll, be, it'll be the exact same thing. So I'm, I'm just gonna okay, okay. keep it, but it, it'll be the exact same thing. Um, so if it's either unsorted or ascending, you want it to be descending. Otherwise, you want it to be ascending. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this will be, um, we'll say that this here, let's assume that this order is ascending. I'm not sure if it is, but let's assume it is. Um, otherwise, here, we will do the opposite. Boom, boom, return zero. Yeah, I, I, think, I think it was ascending. I think you're, I think that's good. So this is likely correct. Um, here, I'm gonna keep it like this, but we could, re we could remove one of the return zeros and move them out of the if statement. Let's just do that for now, okay? Sure. And here, so we have this, and 
unfortunately, this is gonna be, let's do sort data and get next. Uh, no, sort data and here <sighs> we'll say get a uh, const next sorting key equals get next sorting key pass in, uh, or sorry, get a next sorting direction. We're almost done. Get next sorting direction. You pass in the current sorting direction. Boom. Okay, here you do, you do set flattened and then you do set uh, sorting directions. We're gonna do const new sorting directions equals sorting directions. Uh, new sorting directions at sort key equals next sorting direction. And then let's move this down here. Boom, set new set sorting directions, new sorting directions. And then finally, um, finally get next sorting direction. Here, const get next sorting direction. It takes in a sorting direction which is a sorting direction um, and it returns <laughs> if sorting, if sorting, we'll do just copy paste this. If, if boom, return sorting direction, we said here, or what, or ascending, return sorting descending, right? Otherwise mm -hmm. return sorting direction dot ascending. So I have not reread my code, but let's just see if it works, okay? So press city. Oh, yep, it looks to be, looks to be working. Looks to be working, right? Yeah, I, I press things. It looks like it toggles back and forth. It looks good. Cool. Nice job. Yeah, because mm. we're, yeah, we're, we're keeping track of the state. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so at the end here, you're just, like, you store like what the next sorting key is going to be if they press it. Yeah, so like if I, we, if we, if you were to refresh the page right now, all of the headers are unsorted, right? Then you press city, because it is unsorted, it not only sorts it as descending, but it also stores the current sorted direction of city as descending. So the next time mm. that you press city, it's gonna get the next direction, which would be ascending, and it sorts it as ascending. And these are all independent of each other in the headers. So if I click country now, it's sorting first in ascending order for country, then you re-click it in descending order. And let's say you click postcode, it'll start with ascending, then it would go to descending, et cetera. Okay, okay, so I have, I have two choices for you for our grand finale, the conclusion. Okay. And I'll let you choose which one you want to do. So option zero is we spice it up with our little sorting and you also like it goes ascending, descending, unsorted. Like okay. you actually can go back to the default state and then you, you know how it kind of just going to loop every time you press it. Yep. Or we write an input field that I can type in like doc and it will search the entire table and give me a row that has one of these values. Let's do the second one, because the first one, the first one is like, you need to do two things, right? You need to add another if statement, like when you get the next sorting direction and you, you store that, right? It's like, because from descending, you go back to unsorted, but you also need to store the unsorted order. So mm -hmm. like, it's just another sort of like use state where you store the original order or something like that. Um, I feel like it'll be just too much you, of the same. So let's maybe do. Yeah, the you can also, if you want to, never touch the original data, and instead, like in the render function, you actually do the sorting. So that's another way you can approach this. Yeah. Um, but we don't have to get too much into it. Let's go ahead if you want to do the input field. We want an input field. Oh, I yep. hate input fields. Hey, we'll do an input field. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll put them. I, I never remember if it's like, do you have to close it out? You know, the like slash uh, greater than, whatever. Okay, so yeah, yeah. we will put an right, input. Just one. We will put an input field like this, right? Yep, yeah. you're good. Beautiful, look at this sexy input field. Okay, so input field, um, so value, so um, we need to store a value. So we'll have const 
let me put it under the sorting directions, const input field value set input field value equals use state. Um, and this will be a string at first. So input field value, value equals input field value. I hope this is like this. On change, um, so on change, um, on change set input field value to be, so here you, you get an event, right? So I think you do like e.target.value or something. Perfect. Let's, let's see if this actually, okay, so it, it does work. Um, and we can still sort our stuff, which is nice. Okay, so we are typing. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. You can get fancy <laughs> with this with like a debounce or something, but we, we don't need that because we're not no, making no, no, API no. calls. Yeah, okay, yeah. so you want me to, um, what do you want me to do? You want me to like maybe filter the rows and only render a row that has it or? Right, so let's say I type the word Bob. I only want rows returned where one of the columns includes the word Bob. Yeah, okay. So then maybe, mm, maybe what we can do is here in flatten locations dot data, right? Where we do dot data dot map. And we could do something along the lines of, um, we could do something along the lines of, let's do this. We'll, we'll have another function. We'll have another function up here on line, um, on line, 92, 93, which is going to be const um, get filtered rows, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's going to take in rows, and it's going to take in filter key. Fil uh, rows is going to be just any array, and filter key is going to be a string, which is going to be our input value. And we are effectively going to return, um, we're going to return, so rows, they're just, um, Wait, what are our rows? So they, our rows are locations. But they're location objects, right? Yep. Yeah. So we'll do, okay, I'll do this the, the super gross way, but which actually I think happens to work quite nicely. We actually did this recently for something on Algo Expert. It actually works quite nicely. So, okay, so flatten locations.data on line 165. Instead of this, I'm gonna say get filtered rows of flatten locations.data and mm -hmm. comma um, input field value, okay? And then dot map. So that should work. So here, if I do in our get filtered rows, if I just do like return rows, it should be a no op, right? Let's see? Yeah, so it's a no op right now, okay? But so return rows, I think what we can do is we can do return rows dot filter row. Let's do this any, it's an object. And it can basically be, we can stringify, like json.stringify. So we can do json.stringify <laughs> row dot includes filter key. And you would be surprised how much this actually works. So let's try this. Let's do Norway. You guys have prod yep. code that does that? Yep. Look, look, look how nicely it works. <laughs> I typed in Norway and we get two rows with Norway. Okay, okay, okay. So... So the first time I typed it, I didn't like do a capital N. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what we can do is you can do like dot stringify. Uh, you can do like dot two low two. I like your creativity with the the dot stringify there for sure. Now, if you do Norway without capital, look, it works now. You would be surprised how actually like accurate, like how nicely this works. And like, if you have, let's say a paginated table, so you don't have that much data, mm -hmm. like JS can handle this, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, the, the only downside is like, if I literally search a curly brace, it returns me all the data, right? Cause Let me like see. curly brace is technically in the stringified row. Yeah. So okay, there's it, a, there are cleaner, there is a cleaner way of doing no, this. No, no, no. I, I, I like it. This is like a interesting solution. I've never seen this before. Um, you're right. It'll just sometimes return things that you don't want to return. Like it also includes the key. Like if I type the word city, that's going to return all the rows. Yeah. Because that's, well, that's a key for each one. So what, what I would do is I would probably have something that's like a relevant values. And I would I would iterate through all the values to not get the, the, the keys. I would remove, you know, all the curly braces. There are other things that you can do where like if you have like, let's say, um, 
first name and last name, you, like here we don't have that, but imagine mm -hmm. you had that, you might want to merge those together. That way if someone looks up like Ben space AWOD, space, yep. they actually find it rather than just like Ben or just AWOD, you, you know what I mean? Um, right. Or rather than and, needing to type just Ben or just AWOD, they can type the full name. So you could like merge first and last name into like one relevant value to look for, if that makes sense. And I'll just show like a, just another way real quick is like we can say object.values and then we have, that'll give us an array of all the values. And then oh, yeah. you can say dot, dot joined. I believe any. Or dot any. Or you can, yeah. yeah. And if see if any of these are included. So then we can say, and then we can do this entire thing again. So I just think to it's show, dot sum, no? Or is it dot any? Um, no, you're right. Sum is definitely the the right one. Yeah, that, that, that works too, actually. That's that's much easier than... There um, you go. You, you guys can plug this into your prod <laughs> algo expert code. I, um, I come to think of it, I don't think we actually have the JSON of string of I think that was my first um, attempt and I was oh, like... I broke it. Yeah. Hold on. Let me, I, I could have done something vastly wrong here. No, no, you just, you're missing... Uh, wait, what line are you on? You're missing... Uh, it says S dot right lowercase is not a function. Oh, you're right. Object.values.sum. Oh, but that returns no, a, want, that returns want, a want boolean. That returns a boolean. I want includes in there. Look at us. We're both washed up. Wait, does um, this not work? It doesn't work. I, I want to just like console log it real quick. Maybe I'm doing something like. Okay, I got values are rows. You're getting a bunch of strings. Dot sum s. Oh, 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 it's because because we have some numbers in there. That's why. Oh, so s dot two string. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you! Go. Look at you! Like talking about my prod code, and you're doing, you're doing, you're converting this into a string <laughs> of this. Oh, I mean, that's that's fine. That's fine. So let's see if I that's, do that's nine some prod two. Code. Yeah, it works. If I do like one. So yeah, five. so like nice. the difference is I type the word city. It's not going to pull up anything. Yeah. Um, that's the like. If you want to spend two more minutes thinking about this code approach. Yeah. No, I, I <laughs> like the dot stringify. I was not prepared for that one. That was creative. Cool. Well, that is the end of our interview. I thought you did pretty good. Um, honestly, we did so much that I don't even remember your algo for sorting things. I th Honestly, the comments are going to give you better feedback than I can give you right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious what the comments say. They say that, like, like I'm sure there are going to be people who are going to be like, look at this idiot not importing, like, a flatten from Lodash or something like that. But, I mean, honestly, I don't think it's like the low dash stuff. Like, I think it's better to just do it inline because we didn't have that complex of things that you need to use low dash. In fact, I would, I think it's more of a red flag if somebody is like low dashing like a crap load of functions. I don't think I would ever fair. mark somebody off if they decided to write their own, but I would mark you off if you decided to just chain 50 low dash functions um, to do some of the stuff. Fair but, enough. Yeah, so that's the end of this interview. I also just finished an interview with Clement doing an algo problem. So if you want to go watch me struggle a little bit with algos instead of React, go check out his channel where that happens. And uh, thanks for watching. Cool. Thanks for having me, Ben.